it's World Book Day on Thursday the 4th of March. As we are unlikely to be in school, I thought it would be a great opportunity to make a little video celebrating our reading culture at Churchill Academy. We've just had Children's Mental Health Week and we all know how reading can help with our mental well-being. Reading can take you to future worlds or maybe past times or perhaps just help you deal with the present and you're sure to meet some interesting characters along the way. Thank you for all your creations in the toilet roll challenge, more of that later. Normally for World Book Day you would be given a £1 voucher to spend on a book. This year there is going to be a digital voucher that you can spend in participating bookshops when they open. So, what are you going to buy? Well, maybe this video will give you some ideas. That's all from me for now. All I can say is, stay at home, find a book, and read. Happy World Book Day. Hi there, Mr Hilger here on World Book Day, here to talk to you about this book, which is called The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. It's the first book in a trilogy called The Chaos Walking Trilogy, set on a mysterious other world where people can hear their thoughts out loud. I won't tell you much more than that because I don't want to spoil the story, but I can highly recommend it. And I think there's a film of it coming out very soon as well, so well worth a read so that you can get ahead of the, of the story uh, in the film. Happy World Book Day and happy reading. Hello, I'm Georgia and this is Millie. Uh, we're in Yuri and we recommend Harry Potter, the, specifically the series. How long do you think it would take to read a Harry Potter book? I think it depends on how like confident you are with reading. Also it depends on how often you read, but I think it also depends on the varying size of the book. It takes me a couple of weeks to a month maybe to read the Philosopher's Stone and the first couple of books. But as they start to get bigger, it will take me a lot longer because there is a lot more to them. What do you like about Harry Potter books? I like them because they are really descriptive and you can really see how the characters relate into the movies. Like Miney Granger has the wavy hair and Harry Potter has the black hair with the round glasses and Ronald Weasley has the ginger hair and in the first scene of the first movie he has the dirt on his nose. Who's your favourite character in the Harry Potter books? Um, my favourite character is Hermione Granger because I think I relate to her quite a lot because, well, I've got wavy hair and also I am a bit of a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what about you though? Uh, I think I relate to Harry Potter because I'm a bit mysterious, cheeky. Yeah. The one difference between Harry Potter, Hermione Granger and us two is that we are both in Hufflepuff and yeah. obviously they're Gryffindors. Happy World Book Day! So I'm going to do something new today for you and, and hugely recommend for World Book Day, Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. Uh, Neil Gaiman is an incredibly inspiring uh, author, uh, really quirky, really unusual, uh, quite gothic. Uh, he likes his kind of creepy, unusual settings. Uh, Chris Riddle, you may have come across, does the, uh, does the illustrations in here as well. This book is about a little boy called Bot who uh, finds his parents um, kind of missing, he doesn't know where they are, and he ends up being raised by uh, people in a graveyard uh, who only seem to come out at night and uh, look after him because they're dead. Uh, if that kind of thing um, might appeal to you, then why not give it a go? It's, it's a really kind of tense, creepy, unusual, uh, book and uh, I absolutely loved it. It's a real kind of sense of adventure and mystery uh, to the very end. Um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, keep reading. Happy World Book Day! Hello my name is Harry Gillard from Year 7 and I'm recommending Annie Malcolm by David Baddiel. Uh, I really like David Baddiel because he's funny and he produces books for all ages. Uh, Annie Malcolm is a book about magic and animals. I definitely recommend it. Happy World Book Day! Hello from Mrs Sally. This World Book Day I'd like to tell you about this one. So it's called Somebody Give This Heart a Pen by Sophia Thakur. She is a spoken word poet. So for any of you aspiring poets or just people who like poetry, I recommend this. It's truthful, it's soulful and it tells her story. I think it's a great read. Hello my name's Luca, I'm in Year 8. I'm going to recommend His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. 
It's really good because it's been made into a TV show. It's got an interesting storyline and it's in a different world, so it's got different ideas. Have you all book thing? One of my favourite books ever, and I've read it multiple times, even though I first probably read it in year seven, when I was in year seven, is Dune by Frank Herbert. The, fil the book has inspired loads of films and series already, as well as computer games and uh, a whole series of books after it. Um, and there is even a new film coming out later this year, I think, based on the novel. Um, I remember it just being absolutely mind-blowing at the time, and it was the first book that I found to be a, a real page-turner, and I didn't want to put it down, and it really changed my love of reading at that age. I was probably 11 years old. Anyway, the three words I would choose to describe it would be epic, intelligent, and enjoyable. It was, it's just a fantastic story. I thoroughly recommend it. Go and find out. Happy World Book Day. Hello, my name is David Stecko in Year 7. Today I will be recommending Skullduggery Peasant by Derek Landy. I really like this book because it's action-packed, has magic and is full of humour. Happy Book Day. Hello everyone, I wanted to share with you the book that I really loved when I was growing up and it's called Watership Down by Richard Adams. As you can see from the cover, it's the story of an heroic band of rabbits who have to leave their Warren home because some horrible humans want to dig it up and build a housing estate. Um, it's a real nail-bitingly exciting story and if you love animals, if you love the countryside, if you love adventure, you will really, really enjoy this book. I do promise. Hello, my name is Natalia Hernandez Garcia, and I'm here to recommend you a book called One by Sarah Crossan. So, One is not one of those books that you might get and it's all written in a page. No, this is a free verse book which has very low words in a page and it's quite easy to read. It's about a real event that happened and it's about two conjoint twins. Conjoint means that they are born by the hip to, together and um, it was very unlikely to survive but they survived and it's um, the story of how they grew up. This book made, made me cry at the end and I really recommend it. Thank you. Hello everybody, Mr Hartley here to talk to you about Dracula by Bram Stoker. Uh, it's written right at the end of the 19th century in 1897. Um, it's the book that really brought vampires into the public consciousness, public awareness. So if you think you know stuff about vampires, it's probably ultimately because of this book, even though you haven't read it. It's the thing that inspired, you know, the Twilight series, for example. Um, it's well worth the read. It's quite tricky and quite complex in places, so I'd recommend it for maybe year nine and upwards. Um, like lots of Victorian novels, it does get a bit ploddy at times, but it's well worth sticking with. It's got a great opening um, section and a great uh, conclusion. So give it a go uh, and then come and let me know how you got on. Happy World Book Day, everybody, and hope to see you soon. Bye. Year 10, busy doing communal reading. Reading the crossover by Kwame Alexander. Fantastic book, written in free verse. The book moves with the rhythm of the basketball. Dibble here. I really love reading historical fiction, so I'm going to recommend a book called Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sapitas. The story takes place at the end of World War II in 1945, and it's the about the evacuation of 10,000 people from the Baltic area on board a ship. The story is beautifully told through the eyes of four young characters. The ship represents a ticket to freedom and hope for a new life. It is a really sad story, but an interesting piece of hidden history. If you're fans of books like Diary of Anne Frank or Boy in the Striped Pyjamas, then I think you will love reading this book. My name is Ruben Orr, and I would like to recommend a book. This book is called Nimona, which is about a girl, Nimona, who is trying to be the sidekick to Ballista Backhart, whose arch nemesis is her gold line. The reason he is uh, 
the enemy is because it was sh he was shot by him and he does not like him anymore. Uh, I really I really like this book because it was a, a very well detailed and has a very good story with a lot of twists and turns and I would give it a four out of five review. Hi this is Miss Dunn. For World Book Day I want to talk to you about The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. This is about a teenage boy called Michael who's on a journey to discover his own identity as a black gay man and his discovery of the world of drag. Um, it's really funny um, even though it deals with some heavy topics. It's super easy to read. I'm a very slow reader and I went through it in two nights. At is also a poet, so um, it's half poetry and it's got some beautiful illustrations. So if you're interested in any of those things, I would recommend giving it a go. Hi everybody, just wanted to recommend Anthony Horowitz as a writer for you all on this World Book Day and in particular the Oblivion book which is the finale of the Power of Five series. Um, so really exciting, very dramatic and uh, the whole thing really pulls together the entire series and it's a very dark, chilling, focused story on the power of these five individuals who can come together and save the world once and for all. Please get out there, Anthony Horowitz, Diamond Brothers, Alex Ryder, Power of Five, you'll love them. Hi, this is my favourite book, Double Day is Z, um, because it's funny, and this is my favourite page, Daisy's Trouble Index, because um, it's it's really funny, even more than Double Day Z, the front page. <laughs> And it's really funny. Okay, this is my favourite book. It's Star Wars and it's actually episode six, Return of the Jedi. My favourite chapter is when we meet the Ewoks. Great little characters are they are. Happy World Book Day. Keep reading, keep being active. So hi everybody, Mrs. Hayne here. Um, I'm gonna tell you about my favourite book. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I'm sure many of you have heard this book or you've read it before, but I really want to share with you just what's in on the inside cover. And it says, from the author, I wrote this story for you, but when I began it, I had not realized that gr girls grow quicker than books. As a result, you are already too old for fairy tales. And by the time it is printed and bound, you'll be older still, but someday, You'll be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. You can take it down from some upper shelf, dust it and tell me what you think of it. I shall probably be too deaf to hear and too old to understand a word you say, but I shall still be your affectionate godfather. Now, I take this book down from the shelf every couple of years and I dust it down just as the author said and I reread it. And I'm always taken in by the adventures that the four children had. And I love the mystical, and magical moments that happen within it every single time. And shall I tell you this? This was my mum's book when she was a little girl. And I still have it now. And it's one of those treasure possessions. And um, it's just a, a lovely book that just takes you away to some magical far-flung place with amazing creatures but takes you um, on a journey of discovery and makes you think about things in a way perhaps you've never thought about things before so i recommend it the lion the witch and the wardrobe to every young person out there and every old person out there to dust it off their shelves and give it a read